We are back with our high school football team of the week. The Ashley Screaming Eagles, who broke a nine-game losing streak in the Mid-Eastern Conference last Friday. Pretty exciting. The team is now 3-2 and two on the season. As Sports Director Jake Eichstead reports, the team hopes to build off this year's success and carry it into the future. The team of the week is brought to you by Advanced Orthopedics of Leland. I mean, it means a lot. I mean, seeing as our program has struggled a while, I feel like it's really important to get these wins because Ashley's been a losing school for a while. I was a little, I was a little angry about last week. We had a rough performance, and I didn't want people to start getting that narrative like they did last year. So I wanted to go out there and prove that we we're still a competitor out there. The Screaming Eagles are three and two to start off 2023. Considering the Eagles had only the same number of wins over the prior three seasons. Ashley is making momentum a priority. Serving almost 2,000 students, that large number doesn't reflect on the school's football roster. Everyone's seeing that we're clearly getting better each and every year and every day, and hopefully we can continue to win and uh, bring some more players out on the football field. For year to year, we don't have that many players. It's probably like 30 players each year because we don't really get too many wins. Getting wins might bring more players. That's more help. Because we got a lot of kids to school, but not a lot for football. But hopefully these conference wins will bring some of them out. Friday night, Ashley had a lot of success on the ground. The team accounted for 272 rushing yards, setting the tempo with two different junior ball carriers. Hey, I ran that ball. Uh, O-line blocking was really good, just really good execution, pretty good holes. I seen them hit the holes. I just try to give them my all every game, and I just try to... Uh, do what the coaches asked me to do and just try to help the team out as best as I can. Friday was the first conference win for Ashley since 2018, but their eyes are still on improving. They have playoffs on their minds this season, and that means they will need a few more of those conference wins to break that ceiling. Win's a win, uh, but I told the players after the game we weren't very happy with the win. I told the dudes I want to make the playoffs, man. We need five, six wins, and we could easily do it. Uh, they just got to keep working and keep buying in and, and keep, keep going. 